friends, welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. We are almost there, five days from Christmas and it's craziness. That aside, let's go ahead and open up today's coffee. Okay, we have another espresso. I am out of oat milk, sadly, so I'm just gonna have to take it as a short coffee. This one is Altissio. It is a strength level nine. I brought out my short little cup. This is my little cat cup. It's actually a Halloween cup, but it's a year round cup for me because, you know, it has a lot of cats. Cat I'm a crazy cat lady, yeah. But anyway, it's a nice little short cup. This is actually like a kid's cocoa cup that I got from Crate and Barrel. And I love the fact that they carry small cups like this because it's perfect for the espressos. I have espresso cups, but they don't have enough room for creamer. And I can't drink my coffee black. I'm just not that kind of person. But anyway, cheers. Oh, you know what? I could actually go antiquing and buy a small cup for my espressos. You know, yeah. get a beautiful little teacup. For Oh, I think I'm going to do that next time I go antiquing. But anyway, cheers. You got that cut many years ago, too, though. Yeah. It had to have been maybe about 2014, 2012, actually. Maybe even sooner than that. I don't know. Well, no. It could have been 2011. I've, I never had this at the old place. I've only had this here. Yeah. Mm. The coffee has already gotten cold from the creamer. It's strong, um, but it's really nice and nutty. I like that. All right, I'm going to have my coffee, my mince pie. I'll talk with you in a little bit. All right, I am currently working on uploading tomorrow's video. But while we wait, let's go ahead and do the wine pull for the day. We are on day 20. Wow. That just blows my mind. It feels like I've been doing Vlogmas forever and it feels like sometimes it's never going to end, but at the same time, the ending is like coming at us really fast. Anyway, let's talk about wine. All right, day 20, what have we got? Oh, here's the Vognier. This is another game theory. The Chenin Blanc was not the Vognier, like I thought. Well, I guess I don't understand it, but what ifs? This is a 2020 from Santa Barbara, California. The tasting notes are honeysuckle, grilled peaches, Meyer lemon, and peach puree. Very interesting. This is going to be very light and summery, and I'll have to figure out what we're having for dinner. I may do a, maybe some sort of a chicken pasta. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about the notes that we have and what would taste good with it. But um, I'm going to pop this in the fridge. I am working on the video that is going up for day 18. I am going to be working on editing day 19. We have, or I have, a nail appointment here in a little while that I'm going to go to and then finish editing and cleaning. I think we're going to spend the afternoon cleaning as well. We were supposed to do that yesterday, but both of us pooped out. Angie actually had a few orders. If you ordered one of her flowers, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Thank they're you. out <laughs> they're out in the mail all right so quick outfit of the day before we head out for nails feeling kind of festive so i'm wearing my green sweater let me brighten things up for you i'm wearing my green sweater this one i got from walmart wow i'm walmart head to toe today uh yeah i got this from walmart it is a really beautiful um kind of like a mixed texture sweater it has got some cable knit it's got some smaller cable knit or like a braided braided kind of knit waffle knit i love it when sweaters have this kind of textural detail and then pants my free assembly corduroy pull-on pants this is actually a time and true sweater and then i am wearing my time and true sneakers today no petty so i don't have to worry about my feet that's the very simple going to get my pedicure look of the day <laughs> nothing fancy pretty casual it's my saturday today so Hello friends and welcome back. Because we are getting close to the end of the year, I thought that it would be good to sit down and talk a little bit about what some of my favorites have been in 2021. I have quite a few fashion favorites and so I'm going to run down them. I've got my little list here of things. So there's been a lot, you know, I have hauled a lot. I have shown you a lot. 
Some of it I kept, some of it I didn't. In thinking back of all of the things that I consider favorites for this year, I have to say that you are my number one favorite. I have had the pleasure of getting to know a lot of you either through comments here on my channel or in the Style Society membership. And it's been such a pleasure to serve you, to talk with you, to share this journey with you. Um, this year I started vlogging and it's been an experience to be sure and uh, it's just been a really great year. So you are my number one favorite. You will always be my number one favorite. So thank you for that. That being said, of all of the things that I have come across this year, I do have a small list of things that I consider favorites and that I wanted to talk with you about because I think that they're going to continue to be favorites through the next year. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm, I'm tackling the fashion items first. The very first favorite that I have on my list when I was thinking about what did I love this year? And it is these knit dresses that I have bought from Amazon. During the summer, I had one that had short sleeves, was a little bit thinner material, had beautiful pleats on on it. In the winter, it's been this burgundy dress that's a little bit off the shoulder or has a boat neck type collar and a three quarter sleeve. Both of these dresses have been incredibly versatile and comfortable. They are dresses that I wear here at home and or I've worn out when I had to go run errands or, you know, have to go out and do something. This dress that I'm wearing in particular could very easily become a holiday dress with the right accessories. So I have to say that I really, really appreciate those knit dresses from Amazon. They're a decent price point. I can carry them through at least another year with the proper care. And so I really, really love these dresses for their versatility, for for their price point and the fact that it is really easy to get a hold of them. Amazon is bar none, one of the best companies as far as delivery con is concerned. And so you don't have to wait long to get them either. The next thing that I would say is a favorite in 2021 is any kind of sweater dress. I have got several sweater dresses in my wardrobe and I have enjoyed wearing all of them. I think that they are, again, one of those versatile, cozy, comfortable pieces that you can wear at home. You can wear when you have to go out of the house. You can wear them to work. They dress down, they dress up. They're really, really great pieces to have in your wardrobe. And I know that I have absolutely loved the sweater dresses that I have. Most notably, the tank sweater dress that I got from Scoop this last summer. That one has been my workhorse, but I also have a really nice, thick, cozy one from Target. I've gotten a couple of others as well uh, from Target that I really, really enjoy and I love to wear because they are very comfortable and we spent a part of the year still working from home and these are really great pieces to wear when you have to work from home. Sweater dresses absolutely hit the t part of the top of the list of my favorites this year because they've just been workhorses in my wardrobe. The other one is actually something that crosses over. It can be a dress, but it, I considered it more of a cardigan. It's this long cardigan that I got from H&M. I tried both of the colors that they had on the website. They had like an oatmeal color and they had this black one. I stayed with the black one because I just loved it and it was fantastic. I really loved styling it. I loved wearing it. I need to pull it out of my closet because I kind of forgot that I had it with all of the other things that I've hauled in the last year. It's sleeveless so it is versatile. It can work in a warm or a cool climate depending on how you want to layer it and then you can wear it as a dress if you want to because it is, for all intents and purposes, considered a dress. This one, another workhorse in my wardrobe, especially during the summer, and it really made me fall in love with the duster cardigan. This one is fabulous. I love it, and it is definitely one that I am happy to have in my wardrobe. And the other thing that I have absolutely been loving is this belt that I got from Scoop for Walmart. I bought this, I want to say, in the second half of the year, uh, around early fall time frame and I have loved it because it really does a lot to change up or dress up my outfits and it's not an expensive belt. It's actually quite good. It's very well made. I got the one in the brown and black reptile print with the gold buckle, but they do have it, I think, in a black with the silver buckle. I really like the fact, though, that I've got the gold-toned buckle because it goes better with the jewelry that I wear on an everyday basis. And I absolutely 
think that this belt is one of the best buys I have made this year because it really does a lot to dress up my outfits and it does a lot to just bring a little bit of style to my outfits. So definitely a winner there. The other favorite that I have is my mango trench coat. I needed a trench coat very badly and I finally got my hands on one that I really liked. I didn't want anything in the beige necessarily. I actually tab have a tendency more to go to black or navy or something dark and in tone or even a gray and that's kind of what I was looking for and I came across this one from Mango and I absolutely fell in love with it. I think that it is incredibly versatile especially for my climate which is cold and rainy, not frigid and rainy, cold and rainy. And it actually works very, very well for me here where I am. I've worn it several times now. I always feel so pulled together. I always feel very chic, whether I am wearing jeans and sneakers and I've got the trench coat on or I'm dressed up and I've got the trench coat on. I absolutely love, love, love this trench coat. I think it is stunningly beautiful and it is very versatile and Again, another workhorse in my coat wardrobe. I can't do a favorites video without talking about my Eloqui pin tuck wide leg pants. I've got a pair in black, I've got a pair in white, and I love them both. I have worn them to pieces. I really need to look at replacing them because I wear each of those at least once a week. They are really chic, they are very comfortable. Yes, they're made of polyester, but actually it works for me and my lifestyle because I don't have to worry about the wrinkles and they do wash well. The cat hair doesn't stick to them uh, as much as with other pants and they are incredibly, incredibly chic. I can dress them up, I can dress them down. They just make me feel so good. And I'm really, I've been very, very happy with them. I bought them last year at the end of the year and I had to hem them of course, because Eloqui doesn't do petites. So I had to take off quite a bit of fabric on both pairs of pants, but they have both served me very, very well. They make me feel so chic and so put together, but they are kind of starting to show the wear and tear because I wear them a lot. And so I may consider replacing them, but for the time being, they're actually some of my favorite pants. I wear them all the time. Well, moving on to shoes. The shoes that I absolutely love this year, I had a few pair, but there are three that I that are my go-tos. Uh, the first ones are the Cap Toe Kitten Heel Mule in suede that I got from The Drop by Amazon. I love those shoes. They are so chic and feminine and easy to wear and comfortable because they've got the kitten heel. I can walk for miles in those shoes and the suede is really soft. It, it has formed to my feet beautifully. It has remained looking good because of course I treated them and I take care of them, but they are an absolute gem of a shoe. They are very comfortable. They look very, very French and I love that. And they are just worth every single penny. I think I paid like $35 for them. Absolutely worth it. I would pay more for these shoes because I love them that much. The other pair of shoes that I have that I really, really loved and am going to wear again once the weather gets warm are these camel toned sandals that I got from Zara. I absolutely love this shoe. I think this shoe is beautiful. I love the crossover. I like the fact that the crossover is off center. It has a really nice, very flattering, surprisingly square toe. And then the heel is a block heel but it's kind of like a semicircle that's got this flat detail to it. It's also flat on the sides. It's just a really, really great shoe. Incredibly, incredibly comfortable for being a, a heel. And I just loved wearing these during the summer. I would wear them around the house, walk around around the house in them. And then I've worn them out a couple of times. So I will check to see if Zara still has these. I know they put out a pair in black, which I considered getting. And if they are still available, I might get. The other Another pair of shoes that were my absolute go-to this year are my mules, my black croc embossed mules that I got from Nordstrom last year during the pandemic. These are by Louis et C. And I really think that these were are have been a workhorse for me. I can walk for a lot of 
steps in these, you know, without my feet getting too terribly uncomfortable. They are so easy to wear. They are so chic. I love the croc emboss. I thought when I first bought these that they were going to be really uncomfortable, but actually they turned out to be very, very comfortable. I also really like the fact that on the heel, we've got this little bit of a gold detail. They're a reasonable height. I want to say they're like maybe, they're about two and a half, maybe three inches in height, which is the ideal heel height for me. And I just love them. I think that they are beautiful. These sold out pretty quickly at Nordstrom when they released them um, last summer and I wear them all the time, both here at home and out and about. They're really, really good shoes. I think that they're um, definitely good for work or play. This shoe is, uh, it's beautiful. It is stunning and I adore them. I wear them all the time. They became a staple for me in this last year. Moving on to beauty. You're gonna get tired of hearing me talk about this, but <laughs> because I've said it again and again and again, but the Tower 28 Milky Jelly lip glosses are bar none the best lip glosses I have ever tried. They are so good. They are very, very comfortable on the lips. They impart a little bit of color, a little bit of opacity, but not a lot. I use them on their own. I use them as toppers. They are fantastic glosses because they moisturize your lips so well. I have tried a lot of lip glosses in my beauty history and none of them, none of them have uh, made a mark and, and really impressed me like the Tower 28 jelly glosses. I think that they are fantastic. The formula is really good. It's really, they, they just moisturize your lips and make them look so juicy and so plump. And I love the Tower 28. I, I've got all of the milky jelly glosses. I even went out and bought the special edition one that came out in the Sephora holiday event and have been happy with each and every one of them. I, adore them and highly, highly recommend them, especially if you suffer from chapped lips. They're really good to help with a chapped lip. The other product is actually something that I recently got, but I instantly fell in love with. I still need to go out and get a couple more shades, um, but I do fully intend on doing that. And it is the Rare Beauty Lip Mousse lipsticks. What I love about them is that they are very, very opaque and they have a really, really interesting soft and pillowy feel when you put them on your lips. They're not drying, but they're very highly pigmented. Even though they're not a long lasting lipstick, you will have transfer on your glasses and things like that with that lipstick. They do stain the lips and it's that part stays on the lips for a goodish while. I really love them though because the, the in, they've got that's such an interesting texture that I truly appreciate and really am addicted to. So those have made the list, even though I've only had them for a few weeks. And then the last makeup item that I have is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I tried it, I think at the beginning of this year in the early part, cause it went viral on TikTok. YouTube content creators also started talking about it and I tried it and I absolutely love it. It has helped me to stop wearing falsies on camera. I feel like when I wear this mascara, I don't have to wear falsies. They really uh, do a lot to define my lashes, to make them look longer and fuller. And I just feel like my eyes stand out more when I'm wearing this mascara. And uh, yeah, so really, really beautiful mascara. It works really great for me. It gives me everything that I'm looking for in a mascara. It does give me a little bit of volume and it gives me length, but I will say that I don't wear it on its own. I always, always, always wear a primer underneath my mascaras. So I guess I should include that too because it is an everyday go-to. And it is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Base or Lash Primer. It is so good. That primer is so good. It does so much and it doesn't cost a lot. I tried the um, Lancome uh, the Lancome Lash Boosting Primer, and it was okay, but it didn't compare at all to the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. I think that this particular eye, eye, eyelash primer is so good, and 
it's even better because it is a drugstore product and it's got a reasonable price point. So those two things combined, absolute favorites. We'll wear them until I don't know when. <laughs> until I find another mascara that will replace the Maybelline Sky High, but nothing will replace the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. I think that that stuff is magical and uh, I will always wear it under my mascaras. So those were the favorites that I have for 2021. I tried to edit the list quite a bit. I could have added all kinds of things, but honestly, this is the core of what I gravitated to again and again and again in the last year and that I absolutely love. So whatever is available, I will have it linked in the description bar down below. With that, I am going to go ahead and call the vlog for the day. I know I'm calling the vlog a little bit earlier than normal, but we've got to go run um, an errand that is somewhat urgent. I'm not going to be able to check in with you again today. Thank you as always for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I truly appreciate it and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.